started doing, playing and conducting from the keyboard, first with, with Bach and then with Mozart, and then gradually after, after Mozart has gone so well, then why not Beethoven indeed? Uh, uh, why not Schumann and why not Brahms? The Brahms concerti are symphonies with piano and actually they very much need a conductor. Uh, an orchestra cannot play this alone. I mean, they can play the notes, but they, they cannot uh, characterize it and, and it needs the personal stamp of a conductor. However, with certain ensembles and the orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment is, is a, one of those exceptional groups who have a unity of style, a flexibility of style, because let's face it, this orchestra, one week they are, they are playing Monteverdi and the next week they are playing Rameau and the next week they are playing the St. Matthew Passion and, uh, or, or the Magic Flute and with different styles and also different types of instruments, but they, they are very flexible and extraordinarily intelligent. So there is a unity in this group and, uh, and the collective intelligence. So I could try, and we did this many times in concert, this Brahms concerti, we also did the Schumann concerto, and which is very difficult actually with most conductors. It doesn't even matter what great conductors, but there are always problems in the last movement of the Schumann concerto when it comes to uh, And suddenly I played it with, with the Age of Enlightenment, no problem at all. <laughs> they were just listening to me and there was nobody to beat time. So conducting is not time beating. Uh, and a very good or a very great conductor it would always be my preference. But with this orchestra and with, with these instruments, it was a challenge and it was a challenge worth taking. I'm very, very glad we did it. But in the future, if I, I will still hopefully play Brahms concertos with even modern symphony orchestras, then I will not do it myself. This was rather the exception. Uh, but I don't regret it for a minute because it, it was united, it was unified. There was this listening to each other and the constant uh, give and take, like in chamber music. I feel very, very fortunate and um, lucky to have gone through these experiences. In these very difficult times, we were very lucky to have made the Brahms concertos in December 2019, just before the, the coronavirus hit us. And I hope that the listeners will also get pleasure and enjoyment out of it. This is music for all times, but now in COVID and Corona days and months and loneliness, it feels very good to listen to this music. Uh, there is also a lot of resignation in it, in the second concerto or, or in the late pieces of Brahms. Um, but it's full of also moments of light, looking back at better times. And therefore, it gives us uh, hope and uh, optimism. So the music doesn't look 
downwards but upwards.